My name is Caleb and I built an AI baby sleep coach so that I never lose track of my baby sleep again. Since building the Hungry Baby Alarm, our baby has fattened up and our priorities with Baby Dude have shifted to tracking and managing his sleep. As newborns, babies sleep all the time, but as they get older, their sleep patterns start to change. Babies have rough wake and sleep windows that you should try to stick to if you want your baby to be happy and healthy. Otherwise, you'll have an over or under tired, cranky, chubby baby. Parents approach sleep tracking all kinds of ways, from memory, writing it down, or apps which require manual entry. And if you're willing to shell out the cash, there are high-end baby monitors and gadgets that you can purchase which track and provide analysis of your baby's sleep. But I'm too lazy to write things down and I'm way too stingy to buy expensive products and subscriptions. So I built my own open source sleep tracking and training system. And after optimizing the code and logic, it runs 24 seven on a Raspberry Pi, costing me only $5 a year in electricity. Literally 1% the cost of high-end commercial products and my wife uses it every single day. After observing a week's worth of sleep data, she recently adjusted our baby's wake windows, resulting in longer naps. Contrary to the high-end competition, I found that a purely image-based approach worked extremely well. Using MediaPipe to look for little baby eyeballs in the crib, I wrote some code to monitor whether the baby's eyes are open or closed over time. If eyes are present and closed, the tool deems the baby sleeping. If baby eyeballs are present and open, the baby is awake. Unless you're like me and you sleep with your eyes open. And finally, if the code is confident there are no eyeballs, the baby is considered awake and up doing baby things. This worked perfectly for a few weeks until he got a little older and started rolling around in his crib. The code was considering him awake when he was just on his side with his eyes out of frame. So I layered in a final check for general movement where if his body is present but not moving, it leans in the direction of him sleeping and offsets the missing eyeballs logic. This code now runs 24 seven, recording whether he's awake or asleep. From here, I built a web app which reads the recorded data and shows us everything we wanna know during the day and at night when it comes to our baby sleeping. When did my baby wake up? How long did my baby sleep for? And when can I expect my baby to go down for his next nap? And being a web app, anyone can just go to the URL and view this page. Now that I'm generating historical data, I found that I could do a lot of cool things with it beyond basic reminders and metrics. Inspired by a data is beautiful subreddit post where someone created a graphic of their child's manually tracked sleep data, I recreated and automated the generation of this chart with JavaScript in my web app. The orange is when the code detected him as awake and blue is when he was asleep. The top of the circle is midnight and the bottom is noon and each circle is a day. So now every time my baby wakes up or falls asleep, the concentric sleep circles grow and should reveal a pattern of our baby's sleep normalizing over time. Also, historical data screens machine learning. So once I had a few weeks of sleep data built up, I started experimenting and found some time series forecasting techniques I could use to predict when he will be awake and asleep over the next month. I'll include my code for this in the repo if you care to dig in further. With this model, I can forecast the next month's projected wake and sleep times for visualization in my crazy concentric sleep circle chart. It's not really useful, but it's pretty cool to look at. And as a kind of random aside, we keep our nursery pitch black when the baby is sleeping. Now, if the baby wakes up and I or my wife are about to go feed or calm the baby, the code turns on a dull red light via Bluetooth on our baby sound machine so we can see where we're walking. Then when the baby is back asleep, the code turns it off, making late night wakings just a little bit easier. But by far the most simple and useful part of this system is knowing when my baby woke up so I don't need to make a mental note of it or log it manually. Although I have been experimenting with replacing this sound machine with something more natural. To further aid in gently waking your rested baby, I created Hoo Hoo, your baby's favorite sleep buddy. When your baby is beginning to wake, Hoo Hoo will know and enrich the waking experience. When he detects that your baby is waking up, he will gently welcome your baby with the sound of woodland critters.
I open source all the code I wrote for this project and will link to it over at calebolson.com. Feel free to download it and try it out. For this project, I prioritize minimizing the cost of compute as well as simplicity of the solution. It runs 24 seven on something as lightweight as a Raspberry Pi, costing literally 1% of what the high-end commercial solutions cost. Robo Demon Owl not included. Thanks for watching. <laughs> yeah, I do want there to be some sex appeal, so. Also, historical data screams machine learning. You know what I'm saying? So once I had a few weeks of sleep data built up, should, I almost cut that out. Should I cut that out? You know what I'm saying? Also, historical data screams machine learning. You know what I'm saying? So once I had a few, so once I had a few weeks, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nah, I mean, let me do it without, you know what I'm saying at all. So we have that just in case. <laughs> <laughs>